Our next section is going to be strength testing for the shoulder. And while it's important to test all the muscles around the shoulder, biceps, triceps, deltoid, this portion is really going to focus on differentiating the different muscles of the rotator cuff. Um, this can be somewhat tricky, especially because a lot of the strength tests uh, overlap with the special test. They have certain eponyms. And so you will see some of the overlap between the special test and strength testing. So we're going to start to break it down and look at the different strength tests for the individual muscles of the rotator cuff. Uh, I like to start with supraspinatus. And so we're going to have the patient bring their arms up. The plane of motion here is really what we call scaption. It's 30 degrees forward uh, from regular abduction, and then they maximally internally rotate so that they're thumb down. They're going to move their arms uh, towards the ceiling, and you provide resistance, so go ahead and push up against me. And you're comparing bilaterally. You're looking for pain or certainly uh, weakness one side compared to the other. So that's for supraspinatus. Next one's going to be infraspinatus, so you tuck the elbows in at the side. They're going to push out against you. Go ahead and push out and you provide resistance there, again, looking for weakness or pain. Some people will like to kind of preload them either into a little bit of internal rotation or a little bit of external rotation to try to take deltoid out of the picture so that they're entirely doing uh, infraspinatus in, in that position. The next one will be Terry's minor, and so they're going to come up again into that plane of scaption with the elbows at 90 degrees, and again, you can test individually or bilaterally, but you're going to resist external rotation now in this position, so go ahead and push your hand against mine and relax, again, looking for pain or weakness. And then the last one is going to be the belly press test. Um, and so you have the patient put their fingertips in their belly button, bring their elbows as far forward as possible. This shortens pec to take pec out of the picture. And then you say, don't let me take your hands off your belly. And you again, checking for weakness or pain. And those are manual muscle testing for the muscles of the rotator cuff.